What's going on guys? Welcome back to Peak Performance Engineering. So again, today we're uh, still on quarantine for this coronavirus, so I thought I would sit in the garage and uh, shoot some videos. We have a lot of parts that came in for our Gen 5 LT swap that we're doing into our death cart, our Solstice death cart. And so uh, I've got a couple other parts that I wanted to show you guys and just give you some updates on, on our project and what, what we're doing. Um, so I, I filmed another video earlier on the FabBot uh, adapter, which was going to adapt our, L, our uh, Gen 5 motor to the AR5 five-speed transmission that came factory in our uh, Solstice. Uh, but also, we had the clutch come in today. So the clutch I ordered, um, actually, because of our flywheel, we're able to run an LS1 or an LS6 style clutch because uh, the flywheel is drilled out for that, even though it's an 8-bolt flywheel. Um, so I was able to actually go on rockauto.com because... I didn't want some crazy uh, clutch. You know, we, we didn't really need anything crazy. Uh, this motor right here is uh, 355 horsepower stock, so we didn't have a, a big horsepower requirement. The plan is maybe next year we throw in a, a you know high lift cam, maybe do like a, a manifold change uh, to a 6.2 or an LT1, something like that. Um, but you know, I don't really see us adding more than maybe 100 horsepower, um, so we don't really need a crazy clutch. And so what I was able to find on Rock Auto uh, was a company called M-Pact, P-A-C-T. And I'd never heard of these guys before, um, but they had a clutch that was really inexpensive. They had a few different clutches, actually, kind of a, a standard organic material and then a dual friction. And then they went to like a, a six puck uh, type clutch, which I didn't really want to go with. I wanted it to still be something that had good street manners and, you know, easy to engage, all that good stuff. So I was actually able to find MPAC's phone number and give these guys a phone call and uh, talk to one of their engineers. And so, uh, you know, they told me that uh, their, their friction discs are actually made here in the U.S. and then they do import the pressure plates from Taiwan. So, you know, the guy, I told him what I was doing. He was able to give me a good recommendation. Um, so, you know, I was pretty happy with that. And so for the money, I think it was about 180 bucks shipped, including taxes. Um, and it, the, the part came in just a few days. So, you know, we're still going to have probably several weeks before we get it in the car to test it out. But uh, so far, you know, pretty happy with the price. Uh, I mean, super cheap. The only other options in that price range were kind of taking some risk with some companies I'd never heard of on eBay or on Amazon. Um, but, you know, the fact that I was able to talk with that engineer, it sounds like a pretty legit company. Uh, it's also backed by a one-year 12,000 mile warranty. So I figure worst case, if uh, you know, we're, we're doing burnouts, we're doing Hoonigan stuff this summer and it breaks or something, you know, at least we, we could probably get a new one or return it. So, so I figured why not take the risk? Um, but I also wanted to show you guys the motor here. So let me go ahead and do that. So this is the motor that we're going to be installing into our 07 Pontiac Solstice death cart. So we, we took this uh, Solstice, we stripped it down, we welded on a cage. Uh, it's kind of going to be this aerial atom uh, you know, low budget type build. Uh, me and my buddy Lewis, we, we went halves on it. So, uh, you know, we've gone halves on everything. Um, so, so anyway, we ended up picking this motor up last week, last weekend, actually. Uh, locally, we're here in the Metro Detroit area. So we were able to get this thing um, with a PSI harness, right? So it came with a standalone PSI harness, uh, 13,000 miles. This is a 2018 motor. Uh, and we got this thing for uh, 2,400 bucks. So not too bad of a deal. Um, we did think it was gonna be completely complete. Unfortunately, it was missing a few things like the exhaust manifolds were gone. Um, so that's why now it has these headers on it. Um, so I was looking around, you know, it wasn't too easy to find these manifolds since this motor is pretty new. Um, but when I hopped on eBay, um, there's a, a US company that actually makes these. So these are not from China. Uh, they're actually a little bit nicer than some of the stuff I've used in the past from China. Um, but I think they were like 140 bucks. So very inexpensive. They also come with the uh, V-band clamps. They got the, the, the bungs welded in for the uh, O2 sensors. So I'm hoping these will work for our application. We were also missing some other small stuff like the wires. Uh, so I had to order those. Um, I also ordered this, which is actually for an LS, but it, it does actually work for the Gen 5. So for us, we don't have a heater core. So this is just a bypass tube. It's just already got that, you know, uh, bend put in there. So hopefully it doesn't kink. Uh, other than that, what else did we have to do to this thing? So these motors, these Gen 5 motors come with a vacuum pump for the trucks. Uh, like on this L83. So of course we don't need that. And so what you have to buy is uh, these are open once you take the pump off. So you just buy these. I think these are about 15 bucks online shipped. Um, also over here, 
this is uh, where the factory um, oil cooler is. So we got a block off for that, but it actually does have an NPT fitting up here. So if we do want to run an oil cooler, we can. Um, but for now, we're just going to block that off. We're also missing the dipstick, so I just got that, put that on today. Um, and then we're still going to have to do some modifications for our application, uh, like running a Corvette uh, oil filter, so that way it's a little bit shorter. And then down here, uh, what some of the other guys have done is kind of take this metal pan off and just actually run a straight piece of metal. So that'll give us a few inches more clearance here. We'll have to modify the pickup tube, um, but that should be a pretty simple modification. <laughs> And I was also able to find some weld-in motor mounts. So I found these motor mounts from a company that's actually here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And uh, these guys make these motor mounts, uh, plus the other piece that has the polyurethane insert, and they're kind of ones you would weld in, uh, for only 100 bucks. So I thought that was a, a good deal. Let me pull it out and show you. So this is one of the mounts here. So you can see it's a pretty cool mount. Again, polyurethane, it's all quarter inch steel, all laser cut. So, I mean, honestly, if we would have just went to the uh, steel place and bought some steel and some polyurethane, we probably would have been at 50 bucks. So for 50 extra bucks to have it already done for us, um, makes life a lot easier, definitely worth it. All right, guys, let's go ahead and open up this clutch. Let's see what we got here. Like. So again, this is from Rock Auto, a company called Impact. So. So again, ooh, limited uh, warranty, 12,000 miles, one year. Again, that's pretty good. And then here's the dual clutch. So we have, uh, you know, kind of a regular traditional organic material on the back. And then this has uh, ceramic. And so kind of the advantage is, um, you know, we should have kind of increased grip, increased bite over a standard clutch. Um, but, you know, the pressure plate is only rated a little bit higher than stock. So I think the guy told me uh, factory um, LS clutch is a 2,400 pound pressure plate. He said this one would be 2,800 pounds. Um, so just a little bit of an increase, give us a little bit uh, better holding power. Um, again, with our death cart, most of it's going to be uh, driving around to car shows, uh, maybe do the occasional drag strip run over at Milan or do some autocross. But, you know, basically just going to be having fun, messing around, you know, do some rips, some burnouts, stuff like that. Um, so should be, uh, should be good for what we're doing. Uh, again, here's the, uh, here's some bushings, alignment pin, and here's the pressure plate. So, it all looks pretty good. Obviously, the real test will be once we get it in the car and see how the pedal feels, you know, and all that good stuff, but it just looks like a normal pressure plate, so nothing fancy there. Let me kind of bring this over to you guys and show you. So again, you can see this uh, ceramic material. And then here's just your standard, you know, everyday clutch, right? So again, these are American made, uh, sold through Rock Auto. So pretty cool. Hopefully it works good for us. So again, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, thanks again for watching. And uh, if you like the video, subscribe. I'm gonna keep on posting a bunch more, especially with this quarantine for the next few weeks. Um, but uh, we're supposed to be starting pretty soon, as soon as we can, at least. Uh, I'm pulling the motor out from the Solstice Death Cart, the original motor. We'll put that up for sale. And then boom, we're gonna be swapping in this uh, L83. So hopefully we'll be driving, uh, you know, as long as we can uh, get out of this quarantine pretty soon, hopefully by the target was May, but uh, that could be pushed back now. So anyway, guys, uh, stay safe out there. And uh, thanks again for watching. Click the subscribe button and have a good weekend. Take care.